Skahoy is all about hardware, and then again, we are not. We are about inventing the future of light production control. And that also means including other panels than Skahoy panels, so you can use React, our amazing configuration engine, to bring all your broadcast control into one place. So at NAB24, we have a display that includes Stream Decks, X keys, Densitron screens, touch screens, an iPad with a touch screen UI, and a real smart panel, and finally, a clicker. This is a fun Friday night project that I made, and I want to watch, ask you to watch the screen. So, when I click here, I'm actually cutting sources on my ATEM switcher. And if I change over to another source on the screen here, if I press this one, I'm resetting to my multi-view. So, just imagine how amazing it would be to be able to have this one plug the USB dongle into the blue pill basically through this hub and you would be able to program these two buttons to do useful things. You can hand that over to a third party and he'll be able to manage part of your broadcast production. So the Stream Deck here is an array with two Stream Deck XLs, standard Stream Decks are two of them and we have also a Stream Deck Mini. They are all hooked up to the blue pill through this USB hub. So it actually does manage multiple Stream Decks from this single blue pill server. You can do the same on the other panels that we have that has USB-A on the back side. So the Stream Decks are currently running at demonstration mode. You can see how the displays are rotating colors, text information and so on. They are super easy to program and they are networked and that's the point. When you connect it to the blue pill like this, the Stream Decks essentially have an IP address and a port and you can use raw panels to put content on them. And that is amazing for third party integration that needs network access to Stream Decks, but it's also useful with React, of course, because there we can configure actions. And that's exactly what I did on the panels just above. So I had these nice Dentitron screens. They're hooked up to a computer in behind that shows the touch UI that we are serving out of the blue pill, basically. So I have set it up with just some simple buttons. So I do preset uh, selection of a preview selection, and then I can do cut, I can do auto. And on this one, I actually create a little page. So if I press this button, I have a second page where I can do, um, I can select sources for my auxiliary out on the ATEM switcher and then get back to my multi view. So that's a part of the demonstrations we have been doing here. Talking about touch screens, we can also use an iPad, an iPhone, your web browser, whatever. That will bring up the touch screen UI and it allows me to do exactly the same I've just shown you over here. So it just demonstrates how flexible, how many interfaces we can actually support in React to where we are configuring these things. And finally, we have X keys over here where this button is a cut button. Just imagine how useful this little green button would be, again, to put in the hands of somebody who just needs a simple button press to change something in your broadcast production. This XK24 is set up to also do switching. The foot pedal over here is great. As you can see, we are really passionate about control in all shapes and sizes and forms, not only from Skyhoy panels, but also from additional input devices that you own or that you want to apply. They can all be combined in Reactor. And from our point of view, this is all a part of inventing the future of live production control.